All right, well, this video is to introduce you to your brand new unit, which is going to be World War II and the Holocaust. I know that many of you love The Martian. We are going to have to take a break on that for a little while. Hopefully we can come back to that in May if we have time this year. If not, please don't be mad at me. We will not be finishing The Martian. But I want you two guys to explore um, the World War II and the Holocaust. Many of you needed to pick up a packet um, because you don't have access to internet at home and that is okay. Um, but for those of you who do have internet at home, I have put together this Google Classroom for you. So the very first thing I wanted to show you, this is actually Auschwitz, um, which is something you're going to learn deeply about. Um, during the Holocaust, the Jewish people and um, anyone that the Germans did not like, they made sure that they were able to move them to a concentration camp at Auschwitz is one of the most famous. Um, but I wanted to explore everything that you guys have that you're going to need over the next month. Hopefully we will see each other again in May, but they would like for us to teach you online. So everything will be here. Um, nothing is due until next Friday, so I wanted to give um, a little bit of assignments early just in case some of you wanted to get started. But I did want to show you that on here I posted an assignment for you guys under instructions. And it has um, the novel you're going to be reading is Night by Elie Wiesel. And he is actually a Holocaust survivor. He passed away um, a couple of years ago, but before he did, he made sure to share his stories about what it was like to go as a young Jewish boy to go to Auschwitz um, in his novel Night. And your question is going to be, um, why should we choose forgiveness over hatred? So you guys are going to listen to the first three chapters. I do want you to um, finish the first three chapters, complete the questions, and since you're on Google Classroom, all you have to do is click on this, complete the five questions, and make sure you click Turn It In. Um, there is an, a presentation of another Auschwitz survivor named Gerda Weissman. She put together a documentary called One Survivor Remembers. If you have trouble locating this or opening it up, please contact me. Contact me for anything at ljames at tpaa.org. You can also have your parents contact me. Please don't be lost. Um, everything is to give you guys as little pressure as possible. Um, I do have an introduction that I wanted to show you. And it has, what's it called? See, it has the Holocaust. I really want you guys to dig into. We are going to be watching a couple of movies about the Holocaust. There's the novel that you're reading. That's Anne Frank, a little Jewish girl in Amsterdam. That's the front of Auschwitz. This is the Nazi regime, the Nazi party. That is Mr. Hitler himself. These are some young children that are um, were taken to the concentration camp because they were Jewish. And unfortunately, because of the way that Hitler and his Nazi team believe that they were going to work the Jewish people to death and we're going to dig much deeper into that. But it's one of the most remarkable stories of our history and I would like to spend the next month explaining all of it to you. And I, that is for on here. Um, there's a couple of things I put together for next week or for, I'm sorry, the week after next. But everything is going to lead to an essay for you guys. Please don't freak out because you still have about three or four weeks before we start that essay. Right now, you're gathering evidence. And a couple of chapters in, in Mr. Wiesel's novel are all about how he decided to forgive the Germans. And it's pretty beautiful. Um, and just the way that the Holocaust survivors chose to forgive rather than spend their time wasting and hating the Germans. So a couple of things. You have a quiz on direct and indirect characterization. Please watch One Survivor Remembers, and then I'd like for you to write a couple paragraphs in your writer's notebook. Um, please don't spend more than two hours doing this work. I want you guys to stay safe, stay healthy. Um, please let me know if you have any troubles at all, and I will see you 
Um, there is going to be a brainstorming tree video, so please check back. Um, so you have to find a way to um, put all your evidence on your brainstorming tree that you're gathering from these sources. But I miss you guys. Please hold on to your tickets, and every assignment you do will be worth five tickets. And I will talk to you real soon in the next video. Bye, you guys.